Okay, I am back with a big thrift haul for you guys. Sorry that I've been away and not very consistent the last few weeks. I was finishing up coaching my boys volleyball team. They finished the season 28 and three. They had an amazing year and that was where more of my focus was versus reselling and YouTube. So I should be back to normal now with my video. So thank you so much for coming back and watching this video. If you're new here, my name's Heather and I am a full-time reseller. I do three videos a week all about reselling. So if that sounds interesting to you, please subscribe down below and you can push the bell next to it. It'll give you notifications every time I put out a new video. If you see anything you're interested in, in this haul, you can message me on Instagram is the easiest way. You can also comment below or you can email me. All of that information is down below as well as Amazon links for all of the products that I use for my reselling. But you can also use my Amazon links to buy anything on Amazon and I will get a little kickback. So if you're doing some upcoming Christmas shopping or just getting normal stuff that you need every day, you can go ahead and use that link and help me out just a little bit. I really appreciate it. Thank you in advance. Please give this video a thumbs up before we get started. Thumbs up, comments, and shares all really help the algorithm to show YouTube that this video is interesting. People want to watch it and they will push it out more. That way I can get more views and help out more people, hopefully. So let's get right into it. The first thing I got was this Banana Republic coat. I got this at my local Salvation Army, which is actually not very great, but we had some spare time in between some games this weekend. So my sister and I went to a couple of thrift stores here in Counts of Bluffs. This is a size medium. It is a red wool pea coat and it's belted. It's very pretty. I usually wear medium for clothes, but I usually get coats a little bit bigger just because I want them to fit a certain way. Although I have been losing a little weight, so I don't know if this would fit me, but I'm just thinking it would be super pretty for Christmas. So um, yeah, very pretty midi length. I think it was only $5. They've changed everything to our Salvation Armies to flat prices, except for a few things that they have behind the counter, which is like stupidly overpriced. Next is a Ralph Lauren Sport sweater. This is a women's size medium cotton cable knit sweater with the blue pony logo. This style has always done well for me. I feel like even when I used to resell a long time ago when I first started, it's always been a popular style of the cable knit. So I did look up comps and the pink cable knit sweaters have really great sell through rate over 100%. So that should sell quickly. And then I got these Judy Blue Capris. These also had a great sell through rate. Um, they are a size nine and they are just like a dark wash, probably high rise Capri pair of jeans cropped. So I've been trying the last few days since I have more time now, trying to get a little bit more focused here for the end of 2023 looking up comps on everything. I'm using eBay to look at sell through rate and I'm really trying to get things that have a high sell through rate because I want items moving quickly. Also at that Salvation Army, I found these Tory Burch flats, which is great. They're a size seven. They are a black patent leather ballet flat in excellent condition. No scuffs on the toes. So that's really exciting. They do mark up, wait, no, okay. They're seven and a half. For a second, I thought this one said seven and this one said seven and a half, but they're both seven and a half. So good. That was about ready to make me extra sad, but they were cheap. I'm trying to see if there's a style name in here. Um, it's a little bit worn off. So if you guys know the style name of this, it does have these tiny little like espadrille rope details in the logo. If you know the style name, please put it down below. I'm going to be listing these probably really soon this week. All of this stuff is not going to be listed by the time this video goes out because I have a few other older pictures that I can take pictures of, but it should be listed by the end of the week. Okay, let's just keep going. Next we have a coat. My like coat rack is really small right now because a lot of people are buying coats. This is the brand Burton. This is a good outdoor snow ski brand. It is a size what? Burton. <laughs> okay, I don't know. I, or I'm just being extra stupid. But I can't find it. I think it's men's. It's a brown and blue like geometric pattern. 
coat. I wonder if it's on the inside here. Oh, there's something in the pocket. Ooh, let's see what's in the pocket. Am I gonna find something cool? It is a copper card, okay. This is probably something from skiing. Bailey Ketchum, if you are missing your copper card, I have it. <laughs> um, so Bailey, that's a girl name. So maybe it's a girl coat. Hmm. That could help. I'm assuming this was just something that you could put money on. I don't know, that's gonna go in the trash. I was trying to find what size it was. Yeah, I think it's actually a women's. There's some pink in here on the inside. Wow, I'm not gonna waste your guys' time. So it was only $8, it was in the men's section, but I think it's a women's, so it's probably like a large or extra large. I will do more research and see if I can find the style tag, but Burton coats sell good for me. Okay, let's keep moving. Next we have a black hoodie. And this is by Athleta in a size small. I just sold, it was a little bit older style of Athleta black and white hoodies, but they were um, really cute. And they actually sold really quickly for $25 or $30. So I decided to try this basic one. Just a good classic pullover sweatshirt. This is a Modal blend, which is also really nice. It's from 2018, but just a good classic style. So that should do well. Sweatshirts are selling good for me. Okay, next we have a sweater dress. It's a sweater dress. This is new with tags made well. Um, it originally retailed for $128. Now, I don't hardly ever pick up made well anymore, but I did look this up. It's a size large. It is a color block turtleneck sweater dress and comps were pretty good on this specific piece. So I decided to get it, plus being new with tags, people might be shopping for new with tag stuff for Christmas. I know I'm gonna be starting to do Christmas shopping really soon. I don't know about you guys, but I like to get started on it early. I'd rather not wait until like the week before. So I like to get my new with tag stuff up. This is an Eileen Fisher dress. It is a size small. I'm trying to look through even the seasonal sections. It's a green and um, white stripe, has pockets probably midi length um, dresses and shorts and stuff like that right now, even though it's cold because not as many people are looking through them. It's hemp and organic cotton. Um, and so I feel like I could possibly still find some like good pieces and I will still list them because you just never know. Okay, next we have a fresh produce dress. I looked up the specific dress and it does have a pretty good sell through rate. Plus it's in a size one X. It is a seashell print, short sleeve, uh, mini dress with a little ruffle detail on the bottom. I sold a fresh produce plus size piece before and it sold pretty good fairly quickly. Next we have a Torrid, I think. Yes, this is new with tags, um, Torrid top. Uh, it is in a size 1X, which I'm trying to find larger of Torrid, but the print on this is so amazing. It has skulls and floral print mixed together. And so I'm like, even though it is a smaller size for Torrid, the print is amazing. It has a keyhole opening in the back. I decided I would still get it. My Goodwill only charged me $6, so yes. Okay, let's keep moving. Another new with tags Madewell piece. This one was in a size extra large. And it, I don't remember the exact style name, but it was some kind of a shift dress. So it is a black long sleeve shift dress, very basic, good for career work, minimalist. So again, I looked up comps that because they were charging $10, but I think they're selling for at least 40, some of them even more. So that should be good. I got another pair of Judy Blue shorts. The last time I got Judy Blue shorts, they sold in a couple of days although they were a larger size. So we'll see how these ones do. They're just a size small, basic, cuffed, roll up denim pair of shorts, but Judy Blue is always like super stretchy. So they're very comfortable. So I decided to grab those. Next we have a We The Free top. When I find free people tops in larger sizes, they tend to sell very quickly. This one is like a gray and cream striped kind of like a Henley style with the buttons in the front just a long sleeve oversized top 
So I decided to pick that up because it should sell quick. Okay, next we have soft surroundings. I like to get this in larger sizes. This is a size 1X. It is a chambray, dark blue, long sleeve button up top, probably like a tunic length. Classic. It does have a little button here so you can roll the sleeve up a little bit if you want to. That's cute. These are sandals for me because I needed some sort of black sandals, even though it's winter. I didn't have any last year, so I got those for myself. Okay, next, a sweater. A turtleneck sweater by Eileen Fisher. This is really pretty. It's a size medium and it's in excellent condition. It is a ribbed long sleeve turtleneck sweater with side slits and the material is a mystery. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if there's a material tag on this, which kind of sucks because I can't tell exactly what it is. It's really soft. I don't know if it's been cut out or what. Ah, this is sad. So I don't know. Maybe somebody can do a Google lens search. I'll probably just send a picture of this to Keegan because he's like one of my best reseller friends. Or maybe I'll just try to look it up myself first. But here's what it looks like. I can't find a material tag. I would like to know it because if it has cashmere or wool in it, which I feel like it might, I want to put that in the title and the description. We have another cashmere sweater for sure. This is Ken Ross cashmere. I've sold this once before, but I don't remember how it did. This is a size medium open cardigan sweater. I think this is like a, there's gray on the inside. Then I think this might be like a brown, like a really dark brown. It's a hundred percent cashmere open cardigan sweater. So that's great because cashmere is selling super good for me right now. And I got these pair of ultra shoes. This is a men's brand. Where is, let's say it. Oh, here it is. Ultra. These are big though. They're a size 14, but I did look up comps and they look pretty good. They don't have the insoles, but a lot of people for like running, they will put in their own insoles anyway. And they are in excellent condition besides that. So I decided I would give these a try. My men's shoes have been selling for me pretty good lately. So I will pick up both of those. I do give a lot of men's stuff to my brother, but he doesn't sell shoes. He only sells clothing. Okay, we're done with that bag. Let's keep going. I found these yesterday. They are a pair of Birkenstock sandals and they are in a size 38. So that's a women's seven. Um, blue, like suede, really nice condition actually. The other ones I found were not as in nice condition, but I still got them because they only charged $6 for them. So that's those ones. And then I suppose I'll find the other ones soon. Okay, and then I also got these Lululemon sandals. These were in a new cart. So at this Goodwill that I go to, it does say Lululemon right there. They're a size eight solid black slide sandal. I'm just gonna try to clean off this top part. Um, this Goodwill that I go to, there is a lady that's ultra aggressive, in my opinion. <laughs> she like hovers around the back door where they bring out new carts. Like the whole time I'm there, I don't know how long she stays there. And she will just grab anything she sees that could be good. And then she sorts it out in her cart and then puts stuff back. It was like slightly annoying. I don't know. Cause then I have to decide, do I want to be just as aggressive? Because then do I want to get the good stuff or do I just want to be like chill? So I don't know. I think it's a little crazy, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. This is a Desigual dress. I think it is a size 38. So I don't know what that like comes out to in us sizing. But it's really cute with this car print. And I don't know what you would call this. It has like a red slip underneath and this kind of like overlays it sheer. So super pretty dress. I do fairly well with that brand. Oh, here's the other Birkenstock. So these ones are the same size and they're a purple, but they're kind of much more beat up. So I might try to use some suede cleaner if I have like the energy or the feeling to do that because I think I could make them look better than I could probably sell them for more. Um, yeah, so there's those ones. Okay, we have a J. Crew blazer. This green label is fairly old, I think, but with this wool style, I think it's a schoolboy blazer. They always do good for me, so I decided to grab it anyway. 
the size is cut out as well as the material tag, but I know what this is. I sold it so many times, so I will just measure it and use measurements in my listings and just tell the buyers that it probably will fit this check measurements. So we'll see if they actually do that because we all know that people don't like to read the description. This is a pair of Bryn Walker pants. I've usually only found linen for them. These ones are not linen. They're a size extra large, so they seem more like a pull-on, lightweight, stretchy pair of leggings or pants. So I didn't see a ton for sale or sold, but I did see some and comps are pretty decent, so I figured I would try them. So that's a good brand to be on the lookout for. We also have a pair of Teva sandals or Teva. How do you say that? I don't know. They are a pair of wedge black leather sandals, open toe. Normally this brand has like outdoorsy kind of stuff. These are a size seven and a half and they have a style number in there. So I will look those up to figure out what the style name is. Here's my other sandals, the matches. I also got this purse and this is from Patricia Nash. The last time I had a Patricia Nash purse, it actually sold fairly quickly. It does have this 10th anniversary like charm on it. So I don't know the style of this, but they were only charging $8 and I had like one purse left. I had a few that I had for sale for like forever. So I'm gonna try to go consign them and just like start over and just only have maybe a few good select ones. But anyway, this feels like it's like real calf hair and it's a brown leather crossbody with this little flower on the back. And then let me show you the inside. It's nice condition. It's got a couple compartments there and card holders. And then it's got a pocket in the front and then this zipper pocket back here. So I did decide to get that. So that's exciting. Here is the other purple Birkenstock. We have an Athleta sweater and I only got this because it is a cashmere wool blend. It's a size medium pink, a little bit oversized, but super pretty um, pale pink color sweater. And we have a pair of Lululemon pants. I did leave behind some Lululemon capris because they have been doing bad for me. Sometimes they're selling fast, but they're selling for an average of like 15 or $20. Maybe I could get more for them if I wait around for a while, but I don't know. I don't really want to do that for an extra 10 bucks. So anyway, these are a size four. These ones I think should be a better style. They almost seem like a pair of dress pants or something. They're olive green and maybe a straight or skinny leg. So hopefully there's a size dot in here somewhere and I can look them up and see what they are all about. I will search for that while I'm listing them. But anyway, Lulu size four, a different type of pants rather than leggings, which seems to be doing better for me lately. And that's it for that bag. We have one more really full bag. So thank you for sticking around. I know that me personally, I like long haul videos because I put them on while I'm listing or taking pictures. So hopefully you do too. Uh, this is a new with tags Maggie Barnes top and it retailed for $48. It is a 3X pink um, button up sheer. Well, actually it's like a popover because it only buttons halfway. Sheer long sleeve top. I've sold that brand a few times in larger sizes and it does well. And then I got this Catherine's flannel shirt. This isn't a size 3X, but it is like a flannel with little snowflakes on it. So perfect time to be listing this. It should sell quickly, probably in that 20 to $25 range. Catherine's does good for me too, just a good basic. These are a pair of Patagonia shorts, women's. They are a size medium. They're super cute, blue and pink patterned shorts. I don't know the exact style, but Patagonia always has a style number on that tiny little tag in the back. So it's super easy to look up. They do have a drawstring on the inside. So I was glad to find those. Next, again, happy I went to the dress section. This is a Title IX size medium sweater dress. It's a long sleeve, actually it's like a half sleeve, probably midi length with this cool black and white pattern and 
The fabric is extra fine merino wool, 60% and polyester. Last time I sold a Title IX dress for around 40 bucks, so I'm excited to see what comps are in that specific style. We have a J. Crew sweater blazer, which I almost always pick up if they're in good condition. This one is a size small, plus it's red, so perfect. Wait, is this like orange or red? Where's something red? I don't know. I think it's, maybe it's an orangey red. Hmm. Okay, I'm putting it next to that Banana Republic coat I had, and this seems lighter. So vote down below. Is this orange or red? Look at it next to my yellow sweater. Okay, I don't know. Either way, it is a sweater blazer, and this style always does good for me. But I will try to figure that out before I list it. Another receipt. Okay, this came off of the new rack. It is an athleticized large, really long hooded, like wrap top. Uh, I don't know what this is. I did look up the style, but it's extremely oversized. It seems very cozy. And so I decided to grab that. It's kind of like a gray green color. And then I also got this athleta top. Again, I think it's another like wrap style. I can't even figure out how this goes. Okay, here we go. It's hooded. This one didn't have the um, athleta tag, but on the inside I could tell that's what it was. So this one's more like a pullover with a cow neck and it's extra soft. It's gray, extremely oversized with pockets and then it like wraps or like, I don't know, goes around in the front. So I could tell because of like this tag, it says athleta on it. So that has a style number there, so I'll pull it up. But I found that those really big ones, plus and larger sizes do good for me. So I decided to grab those. This is an Eileen Fisher mystery size dress. Short sleeve, kind of almost actually like a, it's not sleeveless, but it's it just kind of goes straight out. So I don't know what you call those sleeves. A cap sleeve, mini dress, and a dark like green color. This is viscose elastane blend. It does not have a size, so by holding it up, I feel like it's a large or extra large. So that was exciting. Again, glad I went to the dress section. Okay, these are exciting. These came out in the new rack. This is the brand Syncacept, which is very expensive. I've sold this once before, but it was an older style top and it didn't do that good, but I feel like these are way cuter. They're a size extra small, pull on, jogger sweatpants with this tie knot detail at the bottom and they're high rise did I already say that I think I did like a heathered gray so super cute I did not look up comps in those most of the time I am so hopefully I didn't make a wrong decision by grabbing those off the new rack but I don't think I did these are a pair of Madewell jeans again very picky with the Madewell that I'm picking up they are the 10 inch road tripper but they are in a size 35 so that is a plus size, extra high rise, medium wash, no distressing, good pair of jeans there. We have a pair of very flowy athleta pants in a size medium. They have this ruffle waistband and they are like a pair of wide leg, stretchy, stretchy pants. So loungewear, athletic, athleisure, pajama. I'll use all those keywords when listing those. Next, I have never seen a Lafayette 148 tag as old as this, but they are a pair of linen pants in a size 10. So I decided to grab them. They're like a cream ivory color with a side zip. Um, kind of a wide leg, maybe. Yeah, they are a wide leg. So that's a really expensive brand. Great material content there. So I wanted to get those. And then we have another pair. This is the tag that I usually see. Lafayette 148, size medium, probably same person. These are a pair of black pull-on wide leg pair of pants. Good for like business, career, work wear. I will use all those. Those are more like stretchy and kind of like, I don't know, not really jersey knit, but definitely not like the linen ones. Okay, these are for myself. They're a pair of Banana Republic navy blue joggers cargo joggers so i'm gonna try those on and see if they look cute because guess what i'm wearing a size eight now i did not start eating healthy to lose weight but it is an added benefit although i didn't really care about losing weight before because 
I was still fine. I don't know. I'm 5'11", <laughs> but I have, I don't hardly ever weigh myself, but when I did, I was like, oh, like I've lost like 15 pounds, but most of it was cutting out sugar. That's a huge thing, but we're eating a lot more like not processed food and organic and just drinking tons of water. I have been working out, but the last couple of weeks it's been crazy with volleyball, but um, yeah, it's mostly diet. So I know when people like talk about losing weight, there's no magic pills, like eat right and exercise. It works. Okay, Athleta, size four, Phaleron printed jogger. I sold this multiple times, not this style though. This is a really cute like blue and gray, almost tie-dye-ish high-rise pair of jogger pants. Those are very cute. We have a pair of jeans and these are a pair of Everlane jeans. So why do some of them say the style on this tag and why do some of them not? These are a size 31 regular because it just says high rise on the inside and that's it. So I'm assuming they're like a high rise straight leg. I really wish they would all have the style name on the inside. My last one sold super quick. So I'm assuming these ones will too because they're a great size. My pile is getting huge over there. Um, a pair of LuLaRoe size 32 burgundy skinny jeans. I've sold this exact pair for I think 30 or $40 before. Normally the colored skinny jeans don't do good, but for some reason when I had the LuLaRoe ones, they did. So I picked them up again. Um, believe it or not, I found another Patricia Nash item and this one is this really cute like cinched bucket bag. And I was like, wow, two at two different thrift stores. Here's their tag, what it looks like. And also a good price, um, $6. So this is super cute. It is like this floral and it has a crossbody strap too, leather crossbody strap. Really nice condition uh, bag. So I'll have to try to find the style name for that. We have a pair of Merrill tall black leather boots. These are in a size eight and a half and they zip all the way here. So they maybe don't go knee high, but probably close. And then the one other pair I have is another pair of Merrill, excellent condition, running like outdoor trail shoes. They don't hardly have any signs of wear and they are in a size eight. So that is my haul, you guys. Thank you so much for sticking around almost half an hour. So I really hope that you enjoyed this. I will be back on Friday with my What Sold video. I hope you guys are having great sales and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.